Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive the notifications of when I'm reading live or I downloaded a new book. Today I have two amazing books that you can read during the summertime and this is going to be so much fun. The first book we are reading is called Let's Do Everything and Nothing by Julia Kuo. I hope that you guys celebrate the summer, enjoy yourself, but also that read a lot of amazing books. I have so many books recommendations for you to read that will help you learn to read. And when you go back in September to school, you will be a good reader. Your teacher will be so surprised. Will you climb a hill with me? Dive into a lake with me? Read the starry sky with me and watch the clouds parade. We'll scale the highest snowy peak. We'll gasp at creatures of the deep. We'll follow trails on summer nights. And salute majestic beast. Will we reach the very top, the very bottom, the very end? We will. We'll share the quiet twilight hour. We'll find our path down step by step. We'll hold still as the ripples fade. And watch the shadows stretch. We'll rest and we'll dust. We'll be. We'll do everything and nothing. For being together. Is the best journey yet. The end. Such a beautiful book about a mother and her daughter doing everything and nothing. Did you ever go on an adventure with your parents? Every time they say, let's go here, let's go there. Why don't you go with them? You might have the adventure of your life. The next book is called A Bray Cat. Do you have a Bray Kitty Cat at home? Do you have a nice cat? This is by Mariana Copper. Bray Cat. There is a box. Inside, there's Olivia. Olivia is an adventure. <laughs> A tireless traveler, a fearless explorer, and a hunter through and through, more or less. Her life is definitely demanding, filled with danger, but it's worth it. Olivia can reach the top of the wall and take it all in with a glance. It's actually not that hard. What more could anyone ask for? Well, it isn't as if Olivia lost everything in her life. Take this cut, for example, and this, and this, and even this right here. Ah, that's more like it. A perfect wall. Small, perhaps, but what's wrong with that? Come out of the box. But why? Olivia has everything she needs right here. And they need her. Without Olivia, 
their days wouldn't even begin. Besides, from what she's seen, the world outside isn't all that is scraped up to be. And to think that there are people who still say that cats always land on their feet. Olivia is an adventure. And now, no problem. A tireless traveler, an explorer without any woof woof fear. Look, Olivia, all the way on top of the tree when the dog bark. Well, maybe just a little fear. Not enough to stop her, though. Or will it? Sometimes, all you have to do is close your eyes and jump. And if you do, you can reach the top of the world. Who would have thought she'd make it this far? Look, Olivia, on top of the house. The world outside isn't bad at all. Aside from this, ouch. Olivia. Olivia, the end. Such a nice story about Olivia. She was such a brave cat. We read Olivia, a brave cat, let's do things and everything and nothing. And I have some books recommendation for you because guess what? Cinco de Mayo is coming, May 5th. This is when Mexican community and Mexican Americans celebrate. Cinco de Mayo. So this is a great book. It talks about the culture of the Mexican community. And this book is called Cinco de Mayo by Anne Henrich. I have another one that's called American Holidays. Cinco de Mayo. This one also speaks about Cinco de Mayo, how they created it, why, and also about the culture and how they created the holiday which is a really good book for you guys to read and learn more about Cinco de Mayo. Our next book that I want to recommend is called Cinco de Mayo Cultural Holidays. This is by J.L.L. Owens. And also, again, this one speaks about all the different things that happen during Cinco de Mayo. Like, what is Cinco de Mayo? Why do people celebrate Cinco de Mayo, right? And one more book. This one is called Cinco de Mayo by Mark Mark Tyler Nobleman. All of these books are amazing. I want you to go to the library, to your library, public library, close to your home, with your mommy and your dad. Borrow some books about Cinco de Mayo. And when that day comes, you can tell your friends, your classmates, and your teacher what is Cinco de Mayo. Because guess what? You read some books, and now you know. And you have the power of knowledge. The more you read, the more educated you are. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for supporting me. Goodbye.